Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorga at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and we are back. Yes, I took a week off, um, but you know what? There are much grander podcasts than I that have taken uh, uh, hiatus, uh, hiatuses, and I don't like to do it. I don't want to be that guy that just disappears on you for a week, but sometimes you have to make a decision. Sometimes you have to work a little smarter. Sometimes you just don't have it in you. And I know some people have seen me try to uh, pull off some of the shows here after our podcast night here on Tuesdays um, where uh, I just couldn't get an idea out and just floundered after five minutes of trying to record a podcast. And, 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 and it just I felt like I felt like last week my brain was just not in a spot for that. And we we needed we needed a break. We need a refresher, not a vacation, but at least a let's not have that part of this thing uh, to work with. And, uh, and, and I think it worked out and I'm hoping to come at you harder, stronger, more basic sorgonomics or, or however we go with this. And, and the first thing I want to talk about, cause I, I mean, we all listen to the gurus and such. I'm hoping my gurus are a little more practical than a lot of others that I follow. Um, of course, you know, and, and to some people's cringe when I say this, uh, I am a follower of the Gary V um uh whatever you think of that uh but th- but no I, I, I it's definitely a motivator he's definitely um one of the guys that that talks about uh what's going on in the industry and, and with consistency i actually had a lot more than i used to listen to um to get a variety but he's the only one that has an ask me anything show that really kind of fits into my listening schedule right now um the other guy has a newsletter kevin rose has actually has a great newsletter he puts out once a month i recommend that by the way and i think he has a podcast attached to it too um, those are the kinds of influencers that I, I follow along with and 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 listen to and 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 try to get cues to. And I know when I listen to a Gary Vaynerchuk or, or some of these other guys, no, not everything fits for me. I am not an advertising agency per se, though I am technically in marketing. Um, but that's not the part I want to talk about. The part, uh, you know, you talk about Gary Vaynerchuk and um, his and, and and his his kind of um, being so proud of working harder than you, and that's why everything works for him, right? Um, and but and there's a lot more factors in that. Don't think, well, geez, well, Gary stays up, so maybe I shouldn't watch this episode of Daredevil, and I should just get get my shit done, right? I should just get it done, and 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 you get to that point. Um, that's doesn't work for everybody first of all and then on the other end of this perspective we have um another guy that I'm, I'm getting back into actually kind of listening to because i love this talk last year at podcamp pittsburgh x i'm doing a hand motion uh podcamp pittsburgh 10 he returned it was great to catch up with him so i've been i've been kind of keeping an ear open to what he's been talking about as well and he has a lot of um he talks about the owner's mind and he talks about um again productivity on our side um and while I have not participated in any of his sessions, I just kind of subscribe to the newsletter and, and get some of the videos and stuff. Um, not the pay part, the, just the freebie what's going on thing. Um, and, and, and he talked about this uh, at PodCamp as well, um, that he only works, I think he says, four hours a, 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 a day or five hours a day in the morning, basically. And he's pretty much good for the rest of the time because that's all he needs to do. So here I am, trapped personally professionally whatever the case it is and maybe you are too when you're trying to build your thing when you're trying to uh work on something on the side uh, aside from your day job you know i mean i was in that spot too before i went to the freelance and and everything and and had a company and, and all this stuff and 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 how much time you put into that and i th- and, and saying, well, I have my own company over here and I do these many hours. And Gary, Gary's like, well, I have my own company and I still, my wife barely sees me, right? Um, and I'm trying to find the middle ground there. One, one, um, I don't believe, much like when I read 4-Hour Work Week and realized how much that was BS for my case scenario, um, the 4-Hour Work Week, one, I think, I, I don't think he even subscribes to that technically. Um, I've had some very interesting conversations with people about that. Um, but it's also, I believe it's, um, um, I think in the case he was selling energy drinks and therefore there's a lot of customer and, um, administrative stuff that he was able to shovel off to, to PAs in India for pennies on the dollar. Um, I can't really do that. Um, 
I can't really uh, push off a lot of my work. There is work that I, I am and I'm, I am thinking about shifting. Um, but I kind of am a guy that needs to be out in the field behind a camera, at least some part of my job or behind a computer editing a video. That's the thing that I do. No matter if I'm the head of the company or not, um, I, it's a very hands-on thing, and I don't know how scalable that is. So there's an issue there. There's a time issue. Um, a lot of things don't lend themselves to having a four-hour workday and then moving on with things. Um, maybe a four-hour per different thing I'm working on, but, you know, as a case may be. I think the answer falls in a different area of this uh through another person i'm talking with we talk about it was a really good advice from our good friend um over at fishing without bait actually that we work with on a podcast here on the network that says you need to step outside uh yourself and look kind of get a bird's eye view of what you're doing and what goes where and 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 kind of in the long run what needs to let go what what is more valuable to spend your time in and that's talking about clients that's talking about what tasks you're doing um what can i farm out and you know as i've talked about on here before um there's certain aspects certainly i can hand off to other people within the company or hire people on or whatever the case may be and that's certainly happening that's certainly happening as uh some of my my business is leading me to travel away and i can't be at every wrestling show for instance there are a lot of wrestling shows i'm going to miss this year um which means a lot of post editing and then there's this post editing i need to do um which again is for the wrestling which again can't be the primary focus in a lot of cases or things just tend to trumpet and are getting me some interesting situations there um, so what do we do about that? Where can we hand off certain things? Where can we, um, make certain decisions about what is important for us to work on? And, and that's been an interesting thing. Um, so now I find myself juggling, uh, <laughs> now I find myself juggling, uh, a lot of the marketing slash the video work slash the, uh, have to go and do an event kind of work. And, uh, and it's getting kind of poured in a lot of directions. Um, Part of you says, well, be the Gary V and do all the things, you know, make sure you get out there. You, got, you don't get paid unless you get out there and work, right? Or, or get that, get those jobs done or whatever the case may be. And if it's a lower paying whatever, then, then you, that will get you to the next thing. And that's fine. Um, but there's certainly a, a point where um, you have to make those decisions. So where, how do, I don't think I'm going to get to the four hour work week. Um, for our work day, even, um, I don't think it's going to be healthy to say, well, I got to truck it all the way through this day, you know, and then, and then realize, oh, I'm not watching TV. I'm not playing a video game. I'm not doing the fun things. Even though I always tell myself, these are the fun things doing this behind a microphone. This is fun right now for me, um, doing podcast night for all the work and sleeplessness that that leads to is the fun thing. I actually told somebody as we were doing a live streaming, uh, last week for the startup weekend woman. Um, and, and I'm, I'm behind the switcher. We're doing a live stream. I'm managing the stuff, uh, making sure, uh, the slideshows are working, help a little bit with the tech. And, and, and I know that I kind of get my head into things and I made sure to say to, um, our good friend, Josh, I'm like, listen, um, I don't know if it seems like it, but I really enjoy this and uh, and and I just get in a kind of a work mode when I get to it because I want it to be good because I give a crap about what we're putting out there and I kick myself so hard. There was something that we botched or I didn't realize something was switching wrong um, at the very first uh, few minutes of the very first um, um, broadcast on Friday night with them. And and it pops up on YouTube every time I go back to it. And I'm just like, oh, damn it. <laughs> but again, Sunday night, we're hitting that. And uh, I got, I'll, I'm so still getting compliments about it this morning on on Twitter uh, that I really, really, really appreciate it. And um, so, how do we get down there? How do you boil that down? Um, it's not an easy answer, but step outside of the work you're doing, and say, okay, what is the important thing? At a certain point, we've talked about if you have that giant list, unfortunately, if you look at that giant list of everything you need to do, as I was doing when I was looking at this giant task that was in front of me for this week, that I had no idea if I was going to meet a deadline. But I started breaking it down, putting my little boxes in Trello, and pulling this over here and pulling this here and say, boom, we're going to start with that box. And we step through, and we step through, and we step through, and here I am six hours later, and I'm like, wow, this is completely manageable now. 
and I woke up Siri apparently while we're at it too. Um, so so break it down. Look at your 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 schedule. Look at your workflow outside yourself, and I think you'll find some answers and 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 uh, 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 break that down. I'm already seeing that. I'm already seeing that, and I hope you do too. If you have any questions about my this this today's uh, ramblings, let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter Sorgatron.com, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to the newsletter. That's going to come out Thursday now, and we'll talk about some of that trimming down in the next episode. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.